example, the fitness world likes to tell women to shrink themselves, but Peloton instructor Ash Pryor proves that being healthy has nothing to do with size. Now she is on a mission to inspire people of all sizes, colors, and ages. Please welcome to DBL, Ash Pryor. Yes. Absolutely. Ash, you have always been an athlete, but like so many of us, you've been body conscious. I wanted to know, did those insecurities ever make you second guess pursuing fitness as a full time job? I would be lying if I said no. <laughs> and, you know, the world, like you said, has taught us as women to be body conscious and to be small. And that means that you're dynamic. And it's been really important for me to stand in my body. I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease in 2016, which is a thyroid condition. And that's when I hit my lowest point. And I set out to be a group fitness instructor as like the ultimate goal of wow. I'm back to being who I needed to be and, and then some. Um, and I found the quote, because Audre Lorde is my favorite author, um, and it said, I can't be diminished by anything that I accept about myself. Mm. And so on the journey, I decided, you know what? This is the body I have. I'm grateful for the things it can do and for the fight that I'm putting in the game. And then once I stepped on that stage, the amount of people that said thank you for representing that being an athlete doesn't have a certain size, that being competent doesn't have a certain size, size that dreaming big enough to be the first one you know you can't be what you can't see but someone has to be the first one to step into it um and so i've just really turned my insecurities into my superpower and through the love of other people stepping into their light it's really helped me to be more free as well you should have bigger goals mm, okay. you should have bigger goals. Yeah. <laughs> Tell the children okay when you didn't start rowing until you were 19 how did it make you comfortable in your skin yeah, rowing is very spiritual. When you're in your boat by yourself and the sun is rising and you hear the water, you are learning to connect with your mind, body, and spirit. Mm. And even rowing alongside someone else, you're trusting each other. And so I may not have ever been your friend and we jump in a boat and now we have this this connection that goes beyond words that now we can have the tough conversations and so it's really taught me about the power of community once you know yourself and what you stand for um, you allow yourself to be more vulnerable and trust other people um, and i learned how to stand in my own power once i had my first learn to row an adult learn to row and i had a friend come take it and she said one of the ladies was crying because she was worried about fitting in the boat and my friend was like do you see ash her hips do not lie and that girl's a powerhouse you're gonna get in this boat because she can do it too Wow. And at the end, the lady came up to me and said, thank you for helping me achieve something that I never thought that I could do. Because mm -hmm. um, I was told at other places that I was too big and I needed to lose weight. And today I was able to check something off the bucket list. Um, and that just allowed me to know that I have to do this. I have to keep going forward um, to show people that you can do it and we'll make things work for you. Wow. wow. Okay, so what reactions did you receive after you were announced as a Peloton instructor? And did you get any pushback for that? Yeah, I think, you know, everyone has an opinion and Peloton does a great job during the, the vetting process, the interview process to make sure that you're ready for this because you are stepping onto a world stage and i think for anyone who's interested in becoming a fitness instructor it's important for you to know who you are and stay true to that no matter where you go and so for myself i know who i am i know what i stand for i'm not going to waver just because that's not someone's cup of tea because it is someone else's and i need to stay true to that um everyone is always going to say you know what they think or how i should be eating or don't wear that top or x y and z but i love me and i nicknamed my stomach tina and me and Tina, we are simply the best, and we love ourselves, and we're gonna show up for how we are and who we are. I know what it's like to not be able to move my body. I know what it's like to be at the lowest point. I know what it's like to be in a hospital. And if this is the body that I'm blessed with, I'm gonna use it to its full potential, and I don't care what anyone else has to say. Wow. Beautiful. Ash, I love that. We quickly, we have 30 seconds left, but Peloton Roll is the brand's latest product. How can DBL viewers get in shape with you this holiday season? Yes, so the equipment is beautiful. They can also join the Peloton app. There are free classes. Uh, there are tiered classes. You can use it on your smart TV, on your phone, as you're traveling. You can also take it to the gym. So there's no excuse not to work out with me. Wow, I know. This is oh, so cool. And your energy it. is contagious. This interview, I'm hearing people say yes and <laughs> thank know. you off camera. I, I, I named mean. my stomach Gary, so I'm <laughs> totally going to work with it. Ash, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank and you. congratulations, CBL Nation. If you want
want to keep up with Ash, follow her on Instagram or TikTok. Also, you can scan this QR code to learn about the Peloton app where you can find thousands of classes. You can even get Peloton gift cards for your loved ones this holiday season. Thank you again. Happy holidays.